All right, Bobcats, so in this video, I'm going to go over the circulation of blood within the liver. Uh, but before I get started, uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. So the first thing that I want to point out is, first off, where it is that we're starting from and what we're trying to get to. So you have what's known as the hepatic arteries, which are going to be primarily transporting oxygen in order to get it to the liver. And then we also have something that's known as the hepatic portal vein, which is going to be transporting nutrients. So both of these things need to get to the liver. And so the location of where these are within the schematic, so you have right and left hepatic arteries, and then you also have the hepatic portal vein. So where this blood will eventually get to within the heart is within the right atrium. And in order to get into the right atrium, you pass through what's known as the inferior vena cava. Okay, so the next, the next thing that I want to discuss is something that we've already talked about in the previous or earlier in the semester. So we already identified some of these blood vessels that are coming off of the abdominal aorta. So coming off the abdominal aorta, we identified the celiac trunk and then some of the ones that were coming off. So we found the gastroduodenal artery. We also found the splenic artery as well as the pancreatic artery. And another one that we identified was the common hepatic artery. So the first thing that we want to uh, move on to is the, the branching of the common hepatic. So the common hepatic branches into the proper hepatic artery and the proper hepatic is what will then go into the right and the left hepatic arteries. So we're now within the liver. So once we get into the liver through these, through the right and left hepatic arteries, we'll get to what's known as the portal triad. So the portal triad includes what's known as the portal arterial. So a term used synonymously with portal arterial is the inner lobular artery. So you have the portal arterial. So this is the point where we're getting oxygen here into the particular um, liver cells. But in order to get to the liver cells, we have to pass through what's known as the sinusoids. So we've identified the sinusoids on the liver, the liver microanatomy model. So within the sinusoids, we identified the hepatocytes or those liver cells. So we're getting that oxygen to these hepatocytes for uh, cellular respiration. Okay, so the next thing that we're moving on to is the hepatic portal vein and the absorption of the nutrients. So um, first off, coming off the abdominal aorta, I've already showed you what branches off from there. But remember that these particular um, arteries are giving blood to their specific organs. So for instance, the stomach, the intestines, the pancreas, as well as the spleen. So all of these organs, they need their blood supply. Well, what primarily occurs here within the stomach and the intestines, we are absorbing the nutrients that are within our food. So we have to get those nutrients into the liver because within those liver cells, this is where, for instance, uh, so glycolysis and the production of glycogen, 
this is where a lot of these uh, metabolic processes are going to occur. So how is it that we get it here to these hepatocytes? Well, you're giving the blood supply to all of these organs, and then they have to travel through their respective veins. So, um, for instance, like the splenic vein or one of the gastric veins. So they'll travel through their respective veins and then merge at a particular point. So they're merging at a particular point, which is known as the porta hepatis. So the porta hepatis is what will lead to the, port the hepatic portal vein. And then from there, we finally get into another structure within the portal triad, which is known as the portal venule, or it's also known as the interlobular vein. So from here, once we get into the sinusoids, we have the nutrient and then the oxygens, or the nutrients and the oxygen, which is then getting into the sinusoids, getting into these uh, liver cells. So then now, all of the uh, metabolic um, byproducts from these liver cells, we have to get it back to the right atrium for oxygenation. So what we travel through after the sinusoids is what we identified on the uh, liver microanatomy model. So we identified the central vein. So we identified the central vein and then from here we then get into the right, left, and middle hepatic veins. And then from there they'll converge where the inferior vena cava is and then the blood gets dumped into the right atrium. Okay, so that's going to do it for this lecture.